Hey, everybody, Rabbi Bill Hamilton here. Delighted to be back with you all, along with colleagues, Rabbi Elizabeth Bonnie Cohen, Rabbi David Starr, and Talia Laster. Great to have you guys all back together. We decided to rename this session from Parsha Ponderings to Well Versed, which in, is a two purpose meaning. One is a reference to verses from the Torah portion each week, but also well versed implies a deep well of wisdom that can flow and bubble up from the interpretations contained within each of those verses. This week, we're going to take a look at the last portion in the book of Genesis in Vayachi. And what we see is this very interesting phenomenon of Joseph reassuring brothers who are quite nervous and guilty that even though they intended to do him harm once upon a time when they throw him in a pit and sold him to slavery and wished him ill, God actually intended it for good. This notion of thinking we're living one story only to discover that we're actually part of another. I'm curious how, what we make of this, especially in our lives today. It's a really nice question because I think that we are, um, you know, we, we can so easily focus in on ourselves um, without even intending to or, um, or meaning it for ill. You know, we just get so caught up in our own day to day, um, the things that feel uh, occupying of my own mental capacity um, or my family's. Um, but that we can forget, not necessarily that we forget about those who are part of our story, right? We often think about those who are in our story, but we forget that they're the kind of the star or the center of their own story. Um, and uh, and I, I appreciate the reminder um, of that and that there are, um, that in the same way that I have kind of constellations of people surrounding me and supporting me and challenging me, um, that each one of those constellations has their own set of constellations surrounding them um, is, uh, it's kind of wild to think about actually. Um, I, I think if I think about it too much, I, I, I start to kind of like wonder what, what is my supporting role in those stories? I hope, I hope it's for good. Um, but it's a fascinating idea. I'm also thinking about um, Pauline Boss's concept of ambiguous loss and um, just how painful ambiguity can be. And that one of the things that creates the feeling of ambiguity is that um, we're living as if we're in a particular story. And when all of a sudden that story doesn't hold anymore, um, it can be very painful. Uh, to then pivot and and um, readjust. And so I think there's actually something um, a little bit sharp about what Yosef says to his brothers to say, actually, the way you've conceived of your whole life is wrong. Um, and I, I feel for them a little bit um, the same way that I felt for them when they were told that they were stars bowing down to their brother. Um, it might be true, but it's sharp. I know. I know that Spielberg just remade West Side Story, and we and Hollywood is very into the redemptive drama of you know from bad to good or sad to happy. Or, but what I love about the ending of, of Bray Sheet is you really don't have sad to happy. I mean, the point is that all of these characters have had extremely complicated lives and complicated relationships mm. and you see some really beautiful um, moments uh, and values and behaviors around things like you know chesed figures like yehuda who tra changes tremendously but on the other hand these guys are still scarred um, and sort of hobbled by what they've been through, you know, as soon as their father dies, they immediately flip back to, gee, now that, you know, dad is gone, maybe Yosef will really put the hammer down on us. The point is they, they've changed, but not totally. We never do. Beautiful. Great points, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.
uh, this first episode of Well Versed. We appreciate your attention, everybody who's watching. Want to wish you all a sweet Shabbat. Shabbat shalom. Shalom.